Hello there. So we're back for another update on the uh, solar system. Um, not quite sure you remember, but the last time I did, did uh, an update, um, we had a three and a half kilowatt Chinese hybrid inverter, and we had it down in our bar at the bottom of the garden. But uh, a lot has changed since then. So what we've done this time, um, we've added something completely different and moved it into the top shed. Um, I'll take you in and let's uh, show you and have a look round. Hello, so we've been busy. Um, this is a monster this time and I'll show you what we've got. So here we have it. It's the uh, eight kilowatt Sunsync hybrid inverter, all on a nice big fireproof back box. Um, plenty of power this time. So this one actually runs the complete house, um, hot tub, all the, um, the shower, absolutely everything, microwave, you name it, we've got it all on it. So yeah, it's basically a two way uh, hybrid inverter and we've obviously been busy with getting these batteries on as well so we've got uh, four uh, five kilowatt 53 volt uh, batteries these are all obviously lipos and they talk to each other as you can see through the various cat5 cables so we get absolute optimum charging and discharging throughout um, this is like complete game changer uh, we've even got the electric car on it now so but basically what we've got is we charge if we're not getting enough solar um, in the day to charge the batteries we've just basically joined the octopus uh, electric car tariff uh, I think it's called octopus intelligent so basically we're paying 7.4 pence a kilowatt hour uh, after 11 o'clock, no, 11.30 at night till 5.30 in the morning. So what we're doing, we're charging these batteries to their fullest um, most of the night. So at least the next day, again, if we haven't got any solar, which we pretty much do every day anyway, um, we can use up in the day what we've used on, well, what we've charged at night on a cheap rate. So it's just a no brainer. It's basically four times as cheap. Um, but what we've also got, we've got about three and a half kilowatts of um, solar panels on the shed roof still. And I've just purchased another three and a half kilowatts, uh, which are going on the house. So uh, watch this space for that. Uh, we're running our electric now at such a cheap rate. I think yesterday, including the standing charge, our daily rate was 89 pence. So that's like 39 pence for a day of complete energy. So I'm sure you'll agree, that's a lot of power. So we've got two ways of monitoring the, the system about all the power we're using and inputting and outputting. Uh, one's through the SunSync um, app which is a little bit slow. It's like five, six minutes behind. But what I've done, um, I've programmed this Raspberry Pi, uh, connect it through the serial port on the hybrid inverter. And that basically gives us live uh, monitoring. Um, I'll put a, a link up on the, the screen just now showing you that, but you just cannot go wrong. Um, this, all this on this side, um, and here is everything that's outdoors. So even if we have a power cut, you've got a second auxiliary at the very bottom there. So that will basically run all the garden, all the fish tanks, um, all our koi uh, equipment. So at least if we do have a power cut, we'll run off these big beauties and we won't have no problem at all. We can even get the old laser on there as well. That's all on solar. This is where I tend to go in the winter to pass uh, them cold evenings away and get bored. <laughs> they make all this lot. All sorts of silly little things like this. 
even made my own specs. What do you reckon? Do they suit me? <laughs> Trouble is, there's no lenses in them. <laughs> and also, to keep you informed, um, all this footage is uh, taken from the new uh, Osmo Pocket 3. It's absolutely brilliant bit of kit. It's like having your own little cameraman look, look following me around the room. <laughs> Another little toy. Anyway, um, that's a short update of what we've been doing uh, for the last month or two and uh, hopefully we'll bring you a little bit more info as we go through the year or should I say through the winter months to see if it's as saving as any money it best do because it costs us more fortune so till the next one see you soon guys bye bye